Hello friends and welcome back to Happy Mail Monday where I share the glorious mail that has made its way into my post box over the past week and we have some glorious mail from around the world today. <laughs> I am a very happy Vegemite. There is some glorious, wonderful, all sorts of kinds of mail and good stuff. So yes, I will try to keep <laughs> my mind on the microphone because uh, the sound has been pretty good. But I do notice that I look away or I move my head away or that sort of thing. And uh, it messes with the sound a little bit. And I don't know if it's even all that noticeable but it's something that annoys me when i'm editing so <laughs> trying to keep this in mind so let's get to the good stuff shall we <laughs> i i feel like starting on one of my people are awesome you are awesome you're all awesome and you're awesome and you're awesome and you're awesome sort of thing just yeah. mail 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 happy mail but i'm bomb and Ugh, but I uh, see and I'm opening it for I have announced it naughty. That's how excited I am getting into it. But first up we have bum ba da bum Real Tayoga <laughs> Volume eleven. I am so excited to see this. I was just looking and someone looking on Instagram and someone just posted a picture of this and I was like, Oh the next Tayoga is out. Oh, and <laughs> lo and behold, it landed in my post box and I am so, so happy because this is one of those scenes that's just, ah, oh, it, it was, <laughs> I think I've told this story before on previous Happy Meals, but just in case you haven't already heard it, the first issue, not number one, but the first issue of uh, Real Tiger that I read was like number seven, I think, but I was kind of, I looked at it and I'm like, real Tayoga, what am I in for, that sort of thing. And when I finally got into it, oh my goodness, I totally fell in love with it. It's full of just, I think it's because it's people being people. And it's, there are little cutouts from an actual community newsletter. And some of them are happy, some of them are sad, but mostly it's just, uh, it's funny. It's funny to me. <laughs> the thing pe things people say, the things people complain about, the pe things people praise, the thing, all the things. And yeah, um, Walter in uh, Walter in Owego. I think that's how you pronounce it. I apologize if it's not. Um, links will be in the description. Yeah, sits in and cuts out all the the pictures and various ads and and the the columns and things like that. And it's just brilliant and something else that's really fun is that I don't know if you can see but the edges are all taped shut and usually there's a little something something tucked inside each one and the first one was actually a metal um, slide a metal slide with a tiny art piece in that you would put in a projector and that sort of thing and I thought how did you get that through customs <laughs> goodness me yes. but this week along with the awesome real Tioga we have let's see battleship cannons from desert storm card second series there we go bum ba -da bum See, only two battleships are currently deployed in the Persian Gulf, the USS Wisconsin and the USS Missouri. Oh. So yeah, it's usually like just a, a random thing, not necessarily having anything to do with the uh, contents of the zine, but just one of those things that makes it even a bit more fun. And I have to thank um, Walter, if <laughs> that's actually your name rather than uh, just a handle. But anyway, I have to thank you so much for continuing to send these because I um, I do send things back here and there, but not nearly as consistently as Walter sends these out. And I just delight in the, seeing them every time. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, goodness. And yeah, details will be in the description because I 
I think yeah. <laughs> it's a unique zine, and a, a, there are a lot of unique zines, obviously. But yeah, it's um, it's in a in a genre all, all its own. Honestly, it's it's kind of it's just <laughs> I'm stumbling for words, and I'm supposed to be a writer. But anyway, excellent zine, and thank you so much. I'm very always always very excited to see these in my post box. <laughs> On to the next letter. Oh goodness, fighting off a sneeze. That, 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 that tickle in my nose. <laughs> and next up, eesh, all the way from Brazil, from Henry and Fafa. Always a joy. Ta-da! Look at all those stamps. <laughs> oh goodness, I don't know if it's focusing because the envelope is all the way over and I can't see anything. <laughs> But I love, love, love all the stamps that they always put on the envelopes. So cool. Henry and Fafa from Brazil are both artists, very talented artists, fun, nice, generous. They're great people. Um, I think Henry sent me a zine, oh, it'd be a few years ago now and um, contacted me first about sending it and I said well I don't I mentioned how I don't read Portuguese I'm, I'm not skilled in that way but he sent it anyway and I enjoyed it and I had this um, I'll put the review in the description but a review where I kind of tried to take in the story without knowing what the words meant and then I put everything into Google Translate and got the new meaning and oh it was it was a really unique experience and oh Oh goodness. Okay. And, <laughs> and yes, that zine just so happened to be cat zine number one. And I think I reviewed cat zine number two. And this is cat zine number three. Yeah. Yay. I mean, I love animals. I love all kinds of animals. But I do have a special place in my heart for cats and dogs. And oh goodness, this is a um, collab scene. Oh goodness, I can't believe that dropped out of my mind for a bit. So yes, all kinds of comic artists have come together to show off the goodness that is their art. And seeing as this is the back cover, I will show it off. <laughs> Kirby and a unicorn. Now it's like the Mario star and Yoshi all kinds of stuff <laughs> I love it so much you can see on the front inside cover just how many people are involved that's so cool I mean I get a little bit um, focused on my own little world bubble and it's so nice to not only see such amazing talent and enjoy uh, a, a love of the feline friends and all that stuff, but it's also nice to remember and be reminded of the fact that there are people all over the world doing all kinds of wonderful, wonderful collab zines and things and just, yeah, anyway, I'm babbling. There was a letter that came along, so, oh, we have a little flyer here as well. Oh. I can't really read most of it, but in case you can, here we go. Fun, fun, fun. I think that's some kind of art fest or comic con of some sort. Anyway, so let's see what is happening in this letter. This is a very sweet letter in which, um, Henry and Fafa kindly reminded me that <laughs> but it seems to me I have read a review and the reviewer said if there will be a cat zine number three somebody will have to learn Portuguese <laughs> I may have said that and I may have to uh, add Portuguese lessons <laughs> into my schedule because if it's what I said it's what I said <laughs> thank goodness for uh, Duolingo eh? 
and start learning Portuguese for free. Oh goodness, I will have to. I will have to start learning Portuguese. <laughs> thank you so much, Henry and Fava. Thank you for the smile. Thank you for the letter. Thank you, obviously, for the zine and the laugh and everything and your generosity. Thank you so, so much. Um, you really make my day and yeah, anything that's bothering me just whoo, flies away when I have the wonderful enjoyment of opening zine, zines from wonderful, wonderful people like you. Mm. <laughs> I am determined to have a bit of a shorter video because I know the last few have been really long, so I will keep on rolling and the next up we have which is really it's amusing to me because i actually just just ducked down to the post office just to see if there was anything i could get seeing as i or, or anything in the post box seeing as i'd um have a bit of a, a late start to recording this video see i usually oops i usually do actually record on the monday I don't know how good or bad that is. Maybe I should start doing it earlier, but that's neither here nor there because we have some amazing mail from Belgium. Nina Ecozina has sent me some mail and I thought it was funny because I was just um, messaging Nina earlier and working out whether I could get some art from her for the workaholic scene that I'm working on. And yay, we have some good scene, wonderful stuff. Oh, goodness me. Oh, a nice long letter. Oh, let's see if I can just get, I just, <laughs> I don't wanna show off the letter, but that is, I just really like that stationery. Hmm, let's see. Okay, so I won't read the letter, obviously, but I will mention that Nina said that she was sorry for the delay in sending zines and never, you never need to apologize. No one ever needs to apologize. Listen, like I am, I am so far from being a perfect or ideal pen pal. I send things late all the time. I am constantly running behind. I am learning to come to peace with that because it seems like I'm just plain never going to get ahead. <laughs> so yes, I am the last person who will ever complain or mention or even really think about delays in sending me scenes. So it is all good. Let's see. We have a flyer for Bric-a-Brac Attic, selling and swapping zines about libraries, library work, and campaigning, personal workplace struggles, vegan living, and allotment guarding, zine culture, women in music, fighting discrimination, anxiety, contemplation, and dreaminess, I think. Hmm. Interesting. Have... The links in the description as always. I think I've forgotten about the mic a little bit, but I'm refocused. <laughs> Talking to the mic. Okay, and then we have Scorpio Moon, a Persian about magic, recovery, gender, autism, place, and creativity. Available to trade or buy. Ooh. Interesting. I do always love a Persian. So I'll just show that. And if I, I'll have everything mentioned in the description. Basically, like I'll, I'll put the links for the people who have sent me mail into the top and then I'll put other men, other mentions below that. So you can find like, this isn't Nina, but I'll put these details below so it's easy to come back to so you don't have to watch the video again and again if you were interested, but didn't have a pen and paper or something like that. Anyway. So, from Nina, we have a space of our own and why we need them, a mini zine. It looks about, looks to be about what's on the cover, why it's important to have our own spaces. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love that. Very cool. And thanks for allowing me to make this scene. That's on the back. 
Let's see if it'll... There we go. Focus. Oh, cool. I just reviewed one of Nina's mini zines and the amount of information she manages to pack in one mini zine. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. <laughs> very cool. Thank you, Nina. And then we have the very latest of Nina's Persine series, Same Heartbeats. Ba -ba <laughs> this is number number 13 a DIY feminist zine about all kinds of things lavender witch is the band that Zena is in Zena <laughs> Nina is in it is Nina Echo Zena so I don't feel too bad about messing up her name oh goodness and then on the back we have let's see come on focus for me there we go who are you gonna call? Chainsaw Bunny! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I still have it in my head that at some point um, I'm going to order a Chainsaw Bunny because I think they're so cute! Oh gosh, Nina's work is just amazing. I love her art style. It's, it's detailed but not like urgh, overwhelming. Just all the little bits and bobs. She has some excellent handwriting. I mean, some of this is typed as well, but she has excellent handwriting. So, yeah. Then we have just a little sneak peek on one of the pages. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you, Nina. How funny that it arrived just on the day as we were messaging. Thank you so, so, so much. Oh, I'm so excited. I want to make sure I have the whole same heartbeat series because the completionist in me has just perked up and gone wait a minute I want to make sure I have numbers 1 through 12 as well <laughs> I think I do but I will make sure thank you so much Zena <laughs> Zena <laughs> I keep calling you Zena now <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> I keep thinking Nina echo Zena and then I call you Zena and then oh goodness me hello Monday <laughs> Thank you, Nina. You are an amazing person, a generous, wonderful, kind person, and an amazing artist. And I love, love, love seeing things from you in my post box. <laughs> and please forgive <laughs> me flubbing up your name so much. Oh, goodness me. And <laughs> next up, we have more glorious goodness. And this one comes from... Mr. Kenneth Bossert in the States. Bum, bum, bum. Yes! I'm so excited to see this one too. Oh, I love you all and I love that you sent me your persons. I love all of your zines because it's, they're all amazing, but I do have a special place in my heart for the Persian variety. Oh, goodness. So this is from Ken Bossert. If you don't know Ken, Ken writes the Ken Chronicles and is currently this I'm currently on number 50 wow number 50 <laughs> and um this is issue number 49 and Ken was one of my initial big inspirations as far as per making a Persian goes like I have been the kind of person where I need to do all the research on the thing before I do the thing because I don't want to do the thing wrong and and so I was really anxious about Persines and wanting to get it right and I made lists and all this sort of things and one of the big inspirations was uh, the Ken Chronicles I think the first one I got was um he was one of my first trades from the original we magazines site and um, yeah I think it, yeah, it was I think it was number 34 was the first Ken Chronicles I got and he informed so much of what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it. He showed like layouts, the integration, excuse me, of um uh, images so on and so forth the what I've been blank lately reading watching that sort of fun stuff um, he actually has a an input and feedback section which is so cool I'd love to be able to do that in don't call me cupcake that's for sure but yes um, there's just there's so much to love about um, 
Ken's The Ken Chronicles. If you're nervous about making a Persian like I was, or just want to see a different, I say a different, but excuse me, um, there, there's lots of Persians to love, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying I dislike any particular layout or style of Persian, but what I'm saying is that the way Ken does stuff, the way Ken lays out stuff, packs a lot of information in, uses images, so on and so forth. Like, I really love it and it's worth checking it out and I hope you will fall in love with the series as much as I have. We have a little bit of a, a note. Let's see. Oh, Ken is so nice. It's a note and we talk often about the price of postage and how it's ridiculous and apparently, um, the U.S. Postal Service stopped surface international mail, so now everything is air mail only and expensive. And he said, but yours was ridiculous. And yes, that is. There, uh, it is. There have been more changes with zine costs and everything, and uh, posted costs and everything. So, yes, I doubly appreciate, um, can and everybody everybody whether you're in Australia or overseas I appreciate it very very much because believe you me I know uh, what an annoyance postage can be on so many different levels <laughs> oh, goodness. thank you so much to Ken for sending me the uh, your latest Ken Chronicles. I enjoy them so much looking forward to diving into this one and thank you what do I say Retro retroactively? <laughs> Thank you for being uh, such an inspiration to per my Persian creating life. <laughs> oh goodness, I'm not expressing myself at all. Well, am I? <laughs> but thank you a million, million times. Thank you. And now to keep that ball rolling. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, from Nicole of Pieces fame in the U.S., we have ba -ba -da -bum. to show this off. If I can, can get it on my mic, because not only is this shiny, it's actually um, embossed. It's actually texture to it. I love it, and a bit of male art. Very cool, and some glorious washi on the back. Love it, love it, love it. So <laughs> Nicole um, let me know that some zines were on the way and we were both a little bit nervous about it because the last time Nicole sent me um, mail, it took, gosh, something like um, two and a half months to get to me. It's one of those things you just, sometimes it's just really ridiculous. Things are meant to get here in about two, sorry, excuse my, <laughs> all the crinkling. Things are supposed to get here in about two weeks or less, usually around the two week mark. But yeah, that took two and a half months and we were both ready to give up on it. And um, yeah, boom, it arrived. So to have this arrive, yeah, on a nice timeline was a wonderful, lovely surprise. So let's see. So Nicole's just writing about um, the latest issue of Pieces. And I feel she writes, excuse me, I'm not 100% sure on Nicole's pronoun, but I feel, they write, I feel lighter having written it. That's absolutely absolutely lovely and here we go this is pieces number 14 on the demon now this is i know um a very 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 personal subject for nicole to write about i feel absolutely honored to be able to read it perzines Persians can be light, Persians can be heavy, and I know this is definitely on the heavy side of the spectrum for Nicole. And yeah, I, I am glad that Nicole feels better for having written it. Um, I've mentioned time and time again how much I identify with 
what Nicole has gone through in life and dealt with and just how much we have in common and everything. And so thank you so much for sending this to me. I have mail that I need to send to you. Oh goodness. And yes, <laughs> I must want to like brew Nicole a cup of tea and be like, listen, no matter however it turns out, it is out now and you've done it and as long as you're feeling better and lighter afterwards that's what matters as well as pieces number 14 we have a visitor in myself number four and a visitor in myself number seven yes a visitor in myself is another persian series by nicole Oh, I just love the, the, whoops, excuse me for bumping the mic. And I love the cut and paste goodness of this, of what Nicole does. It's really a, it's just a combination of backgrounds and patterns and papers and all kinds of good stuff. But yay, excellent. Oh, cool. And my completion is self is very, 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 very grateful <laughs> to be filling in the gaps between our gaps in my uh, collection of a visitor in myself. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you, thank you so much for sending me pieces 14. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the uh, the amount of anxiety that goes into sending overseas with, you know, oh, what if it gets lost? And especially given our last experience, like I would not have held it against Nicole to just not send overseas <laughs> whatsoever anymore, given the whole two and a half month thing. But Nicole sent them anyway, and I'm so happy to be able to read all of these zines. And I'm so, I'm just so glad to know Nicole. You're all so generous and wonderful, and I am so happy to be able to share this, uh, share the mail opening with you, and let you know about these wonderful zine makers and generous souls. And yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to everyone who has sent me mail. Thank you to everyone who watches these videos. Thank you to everyone who subscribes on YouTube or the blog or anywhere. I really, really appreciate it so much more than words can say and yeah I appreciate you all through and through that I can um that I that I'm in a position that I'm in this life where I'm able to do these things and experience this joy and share what joy I can in return I, I appreciate it I appreciate it more than words can say <laughs> oh goodness I'm gonna get all ooh, serious and heavy. <laughs> Don't mind me. I am just going a million miles an hour. So I will keep going, keep rolling, and say thank you one more time to absolutely everyone. I, uh, if I can spread even a little bit of the sunshine that people give to me, then it will be a good life lived. <laughs> Until next time, go make some zines. May your post boxes be full. May the sun be shining on your head or the moon, depending whether you prefer the moon or the sun. You know, either way. <laughs> May wonderful, wonderful things come to you this week. So until next week, bye bye. <laughs>